guys, what's going on? Today we check out new pedal day. So for this video, I'm gonna do an unboxing so you get it to check that out, pretty basic. Then we're gonna run through the Laney 20 watt Lionheart and then we're gonna go through the Mesa dual rectifier and then we're gonna hit up the Orange Rocker for Mark III. Now there's reasons I did all that, but we'll talk about the pedal. For those of you that are familiar with Billy Corgan and his work in the Smashing Pumpkins, very basic pedal at the end of the day. Um, you got a volume, the sustain, which is fuzz, and then tone controls, and then a tone switch. What the tone does, obviously, it goes from lots of bass to lots of treble. So what that switch does, and I'll, I'll go through it in the demo, it removes the tone control from the circuit. And, and it's very cool. It gives you a lot of different tonal options. Uh, the original one had a volume jump if you used it. So this is improved and there's really not a volume difference if you're using the tone or the tone switch. But due to a couple comments, I thought, I would run this through a few different amps. I'm going to use one guitar. I'm going to use the Reverend uh, Billy Corgan signature. I'm going to take it through a bunch of settings. We're going to use a Laney Lionheart, the 20 watt. I'm going to do some clean and dirty tones. We're going to bounce over to the Mesa dual rectifier. I'm going to hit up channel one and channel two for a clean and kind of a vintagey distortion tone. And then finally, we're going to end on the orange rock over Mark three. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is a, it looks good with it. It's like the same color scheme, man. Look at that. You know, orange and Mesa aren't the biggest amps known for using like fuzz pedals. So I thought, why not put it through one of those? Uh, the Laney's a, a nice clean amp, so it's a good one to demo the pedal with. So I think the pedal plays really well with both those amps, actually all three, but specifically the Mesa and the Orange. Actually, the pedal sounds in a couple positions very similar to the Orange. And at the very end of the demo, you're gonna hear where you can just add more gain and sustain just using the pedal versus just trying to make up a new tone. So it kind of gives you a third channel in some cases, if you want more of a, a different kind of lead tone or you want to thicken a part up, I think it works really well for that. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please share the video. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub. The Big Muff. OP Amp. And it was kind of already open. It's a small guy. A little bubble wrap. A little manual. Get that open. Look at that. That's a good looking pedal. That'll look good with an orange amp, don't you think? So we got the pedal in the box. What else we got? A bunch of instructions just flew everywhere. Information, limited warranty. Got the warranty card. What else was in the box? Oh, cool. Got a sticker. Another sticker. That's pretty cool. Punk's full sticker. And a vacuum tube guide. Interesting. I guess EH, I mean, they do make tubes, so it's interesting they're advertising that in a pedal purchase. All right, guys. So let's uh, light it up, see what we got.